All right, chat. You're welcome. I'm back. I'm back. I think we're good. Huh? Ooh. Um, I hope the sound's not too scuffed. It sounds a little bit weird on my end. I don't know if that's going to come through the stream or not. I tried to fix it. Um, but I think it just might be the hardware. Maybe the capture card's like being a little funky. So, you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay. All right. So let me check on. Oh, sorry. It helps if I actually turn on the sound for you guys, too. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to play some 16. We're going to pick up where we left off. Uh, all right, what are we doing? We got to go find the curse breakers and do some stuff around that. I don't trust Cole to do his bit, you understand? It's that I don't trust the Empire to show any of us any mercy if we get in their way. Right, what's the mission here again? I forgot already. I know it's only been like a couple days. Uh, while all eyes focus on the crystalline dominant, the fringes have begun to slowly fall into disarray as rumors of unspeakable atrocities abound. Oh yeah, Martha's missing! That's bad. We gotta go find Martha. Martha is missing. We don't want that. We like Martha. She's very helpful to us. <clears throat> All right. You're wondering what this new board is behind me, aren't you? All in good time, my fearless friend. All in good time. So you're not ready to tell me yet. Okay, so I guess we're just gonna... Wait, hold on. Do you say something new? Clive, uh, Sid, Cole and his men left earlier. I can have another party ready, if you deem it necessary. Right, Clive is now Sid. Um, alright, so we need to go find the Curse Breakers. We'll uh-huh. You look like you have more info for me. For of my lectures. You, the state of the realm. Me to educate you. There is something new. Alright, what's the situation map? Well, Clive. The world at war. This is the present. Siege of the Crystalline. I need to go to Martha's Rest. Okay. Thus ends today's lesson. What a weird thing to make me do. Oh, there's side quests though. We gotta do the side quests, right? Hold on. Map? How many side quests? Just the one. Oh, the bard, the orchestrion's got something new too. All right, hold on. Let's go deal with that. Straight ahead. I like how it looks like a 14 Equestrian. I want to adjust something. Hello? No, stop. Stop doing that. Give me control. I'm gonna lower this a little bit. The music is very loud. And I'm wondering if how high the music was is what was causing the noise. Seems to be all better now, doesn't it? Like, maybe the static was the way Elgato was telling me that the sound was peaking when the game music gets too loud. That's possible. Alright, anyway. Finish with that long back, Sid. But I'm leaving! Obulus Boatman, hello. Damn blighty bilge. Is everything alright? Aside from the holes in my hull? Everything's roses. Oh, we don't can't the have water doesn't agree with it then. That's can't have holes in your boat. <clears throat> unless you got some grand scheme to suck the black from the lake like we do in the atrium, that slurry will keep eating away at the timber like young Tech does our lemon tarts. I suppose a coat of pitch might stave off the rock for a moon or so. Assuming we had any pitch, which we don't. Bloody more. Okay, where do I get pitch? I'll go get it for you. Got more than a dozen runs left in him. 
someone finds you some pitch. Unless, of course, someone finds you some... Yeah. Cock and ball. Your skiff is our only means of reaching the Koji. mainland. Without it, we'd be lost. Well, well, I'm glad someone round here sees it that way. To make pitch, you need pitch trees. But in case you haven't noticed, live trees are one of the thousand things sorely lacking in the Deadlands. Now, well, I'm not so unkind as to ask you to fell a faraway forest and lug the logs back here to the mere. Which is why we'll be needing a suitable alternative. And it just so happens I once heard the thorny pictures of Curltail Falls cover themselves in a sticky wax to trap birds and beetles and whatnot. Okay. Might be enough to tide me over. Sounds easier than felling a faraway forest. That's so for go beat up some plant monsters. Okay, that's fine. Ah, uh, cock and ball. That's Koji Fox right there, everybody. Thank you so much. He took credit for it and mentioned it at FanFest, so it was definitely him who made that choice. Thank you. Never been to Curl Tail Falls myself. <laughs> Never seen a curl for that matter. I'd be glad you haven't. I heard they'll tear a man from cock to crown soon as look at him. They will. Good thing all we need is some wax from a thorny pitcher. How odd can that be? We're gonna run into a coral, right? I think we're all under that understanding that we're gonna we're about to go run our souls into a coral. Rising waters transformed one fertile farmland into a noisome morass, rendering it nigh uninhabitable to all but leeches and lizards. I do see some pitches down there. Where's my dog? Yeah, you are. We gotta pet the dog. Orgol, get back here. Let me pet you. Let me pet you. After it. Good oh boy. You gotta pet the dog. Very important, pet the dog. Easier than felling a forest, I said. The trees don't have teeth. That's easy. Heck yeah. Petra Wax, a icon from 14. Or, er, thank you. Yeah. Anyway, a sticky substance found in the pitcher of a carnivorous plant which thighs in the Rosarian lowlands. Actually, I guess technically a lot of these icons are shit you would find in 14 bit redesign, so that's neat. I can't imagine Obelis needing any more than this. Time to head home. Should we just go straight there? Or should we look around a little bit? And there's nothing really here. Just go straight to Martha's. What level am I? I am 27. These don't really give me anything.
was fun though. I just wanted to give that a try because we got that new accessory that charges the magic for us. Hold on. I want to go look at the Whispering Waters. There's gotta be something fun over there, right? Oh, look, deer. Thing. Nothing else around it looks like. Alright, how do I get out? I need like a mini map, honestly. Turn around. This way? That way. I think about it we do need more ability points so it is good to just kind of go around and beat shit up we need 2300 that looks friendly
Ow. That'll do. Only a little worse for the wear. We don't even craft. We get all these crafting materials, but we don't even use them. Because they're just like, here, have some oak gear. And you're like, okay. I mean, cool, thanks, but also... We don't craft. I parried the bee. That was very dynamic for parrying a bee. Hey! It's Neo Neko. Thank you so much for the raid. How's it going? How was your. What were you playing? Genshin? How was your Genshining? We were doing some Ace Attorney, but then I got tired, so now we're playing 16. I'm just going to chill and beat shit up. That's how this works. And Starreal, you did two games also? Alright, how was your Genshin and Star- How are your waifu games? That's how that works, right? So I've been told. Genshin did some character hangouts, so he went on dates. Hung out with a husbando. That's cool. Like two of the five storylines? <laughs> Sounds like you need to go on more dates. That's what I heard. You owe your... You owe your... You owe them some more dates. That's what I heard. Who's that? Oh, crab claws. Okay. Yeah, we could fight this. Star Rail, you tried the new event? Okay, that's cool. Did you get your rewards for your, your boba? Chill, Jill. That thing's already dead. That was a kind of overkill. Oh, that's a big horn. Apparently you can redeem them five times, so you need to get Boba three more times. Oh. Ow, shit, I wasn't looking. Oop, parried it. Oh, 
I mean, I guess we can get Boba later. You should see if they deliver and if that counts if you get delivery from them. Ooh, chest. Oh, I already opened it. No chest. They're much easier to kill when you're higher level than them, I have to say. Look, I got the cock and ball quest that Koji Fox was talking about and bragging about and ever so proud of. Oh, bridge. There was a road. Go we'll south first. Follow the path ish. Sorry, I need ability points. Sorry, antelopes. Oh. made that look cool. It's unknown. Current guesses it should. I mean, let me know if you want to try it, I guess. Wait, what? That way. Oh, okay. I see. I see what's happening. Which way am I going? Other way! Turn around, Clive! You only get codes if you get the promo drinks? Okay, I mean, you should see if they deliver and if the promo drinks are able to be delivered specifically. Is what I was trying to tell you. Otherwise, we would have to actually go there. We're going this way first. Oh, hello. Focal match. If we go there, we can get BBQ chicken. Oh, an order ahead from both places. That's a, not a bad idea. I mean, but you work tomorrow, though, right? much time. 
I guess it's good for sniping if you're lazy. Nothing here, eh? Now it's just pure. Alright, we gotta go. Cross and then hug the right. I guess the better question is, let me know... Oh, look, another big horn. If you want to get the boba when we're not... We... If it's just boba. We don't need other food. looking for here that way that dude stepped on me That looks like it's across the way, or is it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. We go this way. Bees! Oh, you're not a bee, you're a hornet. You're a bee! Bees? What are you going on that boy? No, not that way. I want to go the other way. That way. We're trying to get ability points so that we can unlock shit. That's why we're taking the scenic route. I have no way of knowing if there's a faster way to get ability points later, but we're not gonna worry about it.
good. Uh, I think we'll go across that bridge now. Like, what do you mean there's something to fight? Alright. Let's go the other way. Going the long way, so we can look for stuff to beat up before we take the lift up to Martha's. complicated. That's some not friendly music. from the garrison just stormed in unannounced and started smashing up the place. Ooh, that's not good. What happened here? Come on. We need to find the others. We do, but I'm gonna go look across the bridge real quick to see if there's anybody we missed and talking to. I don't think that is the case, but it doesn't hurt to uh, check. No one at the stables. That can't be good. That's what I was trying to do, I was trying to get the sprint. Guys, okay. Imperials. If they are Martha, they have the old rest to answer to. Right, so Imperials are being right bastards. I'm sorry, Sid. We were too late. The Imperials have already left. Oh no. What was all the screaming and shouting, Mummy? I told you to stay inside. Here, get back inside, kid. What's up? Nothing? Are any of you hurt? No, they didn't come this way, thank the Founder. Oh, that's super broken. Good 
see you, Sid. The soldiers who did this are long gone, I'm afraid. We're doing what we can to treat the wounded. Mm. You have new items. What are you after? What do you got? Increased stone skin tonic duration. I mean, we could buy it. Founder's footsteps. A shield on my left arm, sword brother to my right. The courage of my mother to see me through the fight. Soldier's prayer. I'm gonna buy it to have it. Really well. I'm a hoarder, okay? Alright, let's go in. Let's get you to a physical, shall we? I'm sorry. Sid? What said you'd be coming? I trust you don't mind. Also thought you might need some help. And it appears he was right. <laughs> you, uh, could say that, yes. They're saying the Imperials ascended like a storm. No one was spared their fury. Martha tried to step in and calm things down, but... All our efforts got her were a pair of iron shackles and a hard march. Oof. Any idea where? Judging by their tracks, they headed towards Sorrowwise Bay. To the Abbey, sheltering Martha's bearers. Oh no. The bastards. Jid and I will go after them. You take care of the people here. We will. But, um, before you go, one of the locals heard something. He said the soldiers were talking about a culling. That's not good. I don't know how big this is, but it doesn't sound good. Be careful out there, Sid. You do the same. All right, we need to get ourselves to the right. Abbey. That was no tavern brawl. It was a message. But a culling. Bearers are the property of the Empire. The garrison wouldn't have the authority to act alone. The orders would have had to have come from higher up. So matricide. So matricide time. This culling business. You don't think you don't think the Empire means to rid the land of bearers, do you? I do. What in the world is going on? Lads from the garrison all poured in, sword swinging, and took Martha away with them. You're making it worse. Just seeing if those were anything new. I think I don't think they were. Can't go in any of the rooms. All right, so it looks like those are the same point. All right, so we're going down to Sarwise. chat i need a quick break quick bathroom break i will be right back let's go ahead and do uh, the ad break hold on quick break we'll do a quick break here put this here and baby
Come on. Come on. All right, there we go. I'm back. Just in time. I also did a quick look at something else, though. Took a little bit longer. Um, all right. How do we get there? We're going to go... I guess we just go this way? I thought that lift was not functional when I was looking. Called ourselves our countrymen. Oh, not no longer. Okay, you moved it. Thank you. All right, down we go. Helps if I fix that. All right, hold on. Right, less right. Hard to say. Um, sorry, I'm making some adjustments so that it's less distracting for y'all. Here we go. That'll do. All right, there we go. You okay, buddy? If those Orsons touch the air on Martha's head. I'll kill them all myself. I'm glad you have those sentiments. We're gonna go to the right first because it's blocked off. That is a crab. Head towards the crabbles. Oh, turtle. Just heal myself a little bit. Oh, he dead. Never mind. Nothing to heal from. He's dead. Dead Jim. Killed him. Lighting adjustments. See now it's like There we go. Balanced. Oh bees. No bees. No 
All right, we're gonna go see why this is blocked off over here. But first, a turtle. But first, a turtle! It's dead. All right, so what's happening over here? What's going on, buddies? Well, the bridge is out. Oh, or terrorized reader. Way to the Abbey, minding my own business, when a gang of screaming loons came charging out the garrison and chucked my stuff all over the place. That's quite rude. I'm sorry. So get it all picked up. No one's crossing the bridge. If you're going the same way I was, you'd be better off going back by Martha's than round the other side. That's their way of saying, you gotta take the long route! Alright, alright. I'm going, I'm going. Oh, crab. Hey, crabby. Dead crab. Gotta make sure I'm going the right way. We really need a mini map. Sometimes you get turned around. It's weird that there's no mini map, right? I can't be the only one who thinks that. It's weird that there's no mini map. Or like anything to tell you what direction you're running, other than like, oh yeah, relative to your waypoint, here's where you are. like the remove snipe button honestly i don't think you can change that i think that just kind of is what it is i'm fairly certain look up ahead oh are you okay martha are you hurt the bears don't though worry about me it's them at the abbey who need you you have to do something Tell us what happened. What happened? The damn Black Shields, that's what happened! The Black Shields? The bastards caught wind. The abbot and I were helping bearers. They were gonna hang us both. When the sick rose from their beds. Poor souls turned on the Imperials. Distracted them long enough for me to get away. Then... They may still be alive. Martha. Do you think you can make it back to the inn? Cole is there with the other curse breakers. I think so. Thank you, Clive. Black Shields. Is this some sort of twisted joke? There has only ever been one order of shields in Rosaria, and they fought to defend all her citizens. It seems a step too far. 
Even for the Empire. It's your mom, clearly. So matricide, right? Matricide's not off the table. will do. Good enough. Alright, see another big horn over yonder. Definitely gonna be our target. Not too bad. Not so bad at all. Those are bees. I see you, them bees. This is a closed up bridge that we cannot lower. No idea what's on the other side, but we can't get there. Now we want to head that way. We're going to hug the right. As we go up. Hold on. Checking on ability points. About 300 more to go. Chocobos, hello, wild bird friends. Yeah. 
I'm not going the right way. I'm gonna go that way first. That's fun. More crab. Ooh, that is a box. Like, I need that crab to die so I can open this. What's in here? Ooh, some stuff in there. Nice. Oh, some money. We like money. Money means we can eventually buy more custodian rolls, except they keep having very expensive accessories that I also want because I am a hoarder. here in these ruins. They're just, just kind of ruins. Seems like. Oh, these are graves. Oh. This is the graveyard. I see. That is a spider. Spider no more. All right, let's go bust some heads. Let's go bust some heads. Are we too late? There might still be someone inside. Oh, that's dead bodies. That's a bunch of dead bodies. Hmm. It's Martha's bears, probably. They want us to go in there, but I'm gonna look in the side rooms. I'm gonna look around a little bit. You never know. Sometimes there's stuff. But we already got that stuff. That's from last time. Where's the Imperials? I thought you lot were all spent. Murderers. They drove the bearers to this. Wait. These two aren't turned. Ugh. That bitch of an innkeeper must have sent them. Colluding with the enemies of the Empire is a serious offense. I'm ready to kill them. And for their crimes shall they be punished. Such is the law. Who are you? To dwell in darkness that we may purge the night and welcome lasting dawn. On these our swords we swear. Or. Mm. Oh. Second in command of the Curse Breakers, who assists with the coordination of their troops' bearer liberating activities under the supervision of his captain, Doris. Formerly a slave soldier for the first of the Fist of the Republic, before being freed and taken in by those he now calls his brothers and sisters in arms. How 
dare you speak those words? Have you no honor? Clive. This won't take long. Easy. Is that all of them? I think so. That's complete? Okay. Breath of Wind, Gouge, Residual, yeah, uh, Reduce Gouge, Cooldown Time by 3, okay. I do like Gouge, honestly. What is this? That's new. New currency. I didn't see the abbot. He may still be alive. Almost. Dagger, what is this? Oh wait, hold on, that's not what I'm looking for. Now, what is that other thing that I got? What did I pick up? That currency. Crafting the frozen tear. Oh, a reminder of promise made, a friendship forged. Could have just said I. Phoenix Feather, a brilliant red feather discovered by Clive on his person upon waking from his battle with Typhon. Know this, if you want him, you'll have to go through me. Pitcher Wax, a sticky substance found in the pitcher of a carnivorous plant which thrives in the Rosarian lowlands. Okay, I still don't know. All eyes focused on- oh wait, hold on, nope, that's the one we just did. Hideaway, Ferryman, Obulus estimates his skiff will not last long another fortnight before the blighted water. A Benumer eats straight through its hull and condemns it to the lake bed. Fortunately, he knows exactly what the boat needs to avoid its grim fate and exactly where Clive can find it. Uh, that's not what I'm looking for, though. Attributes. Was it this? It did kind of look like that, like the iconic abilities. What does that mean? What did that mean? Where are those points? Oh, we should say if it's been a bit. Oh no. Thunder. The abbot. Found him. The bearers died protecting him. Calling upon what little magic they had left in their bodies. Clive, he's breathing. Oh! Oh no. But. We're friends of Martha. We're here to help. Probably can't move. Are the Imperials dead? Yes. They are. Every last one. If only that were true. <laughs> the ones here are all dead. The ones that came after you. But we still have to go and 
It matricide to get rid of the rest. The black shields will return. The cuttings will continue. Rosaria will never be saved unless we save her. Tell Matt to beg Sid's aid. Doesn't know that we're Sid. This wasn't her fault. I... I shall. Sid! Where are you? Sid! In here! We found a survivor! Go. Clive? Gone. Was his dying breath? He's gone. We've laid the abbot to rest, but the bearers, they didn't need to die like this. No, they didn't. But it was their choice. They knew the fate that awaited them and chose to meet it on their terms, fighting for those who fought for them. Martha said they rose from their beds, threw themselves at the Imperials so she and the abbot could escape. I've gathered the bearers' remains. We should consign them to the tide. There's a drawbridge not far from here. Riddick's jump. The currents there are swift. If the abbot were still with us, he'd have taken the dust there himself and performed the casting. I'll get What's the casting? Soon. Hold up. Lore? Explain. Black Shields, an order of knights instituted by Empress Annabella in one of her first acts as vice arena of the newly established Imperial Imperial province of Rosaria. They are tasked with purging the impurities from the province, which in practice primarily involves slaying bearers upon the slightest pretext. Nothing about what on earth the casting is. What is it? Of course. Cole and I will remain here and see to the Imperials. Form the casting and return to Martha's rest to make Redox jump. I do still need to give a man his pitch, but he'll be okay for a little bit. Having dealt with the immediate threat posed by the Black Shields, Clive and Jill turn their attention to searching the Abbey for any who might still be alive. There, amidst the slaughter, Jill discovers a lone surviving bearer who, with his final breath, warns them of the Black Shields' reach. Me and my dog. Isn't it fortunate that we already went around and like murdered the shit out of everything while we had more people with us? That's nice. There's that. I miss some. An Ariman. Why are you here? A bounty? Is this like FF12? Notorious marks! Every now and then Clyde may encounter creatures larger, faster, and more ferocious than most. While fly well, flight is always an option, defeating these notorious marks. That is a little tiny Manjagora icon, like, in 14. Cute. Love it. Nice touch. Can earn him not only renown- Oh, that's renown. That's what that green symbol is. But also rare mineral materials that may be used to craft new gear or upgrade existing items. I need to get out of this. Get 
out of the doom. Start from your Asomblis. All right, get out of the doom. I was like, it's casting doom. That can't be good. And then, of course, it wasn't. My. Turn your ass around. Where am I? We're best off staying where we are for now, I reckon. The boys from the garrison might still be. So it turned around. And they called themselves our country. I was like, what is the Doom doing? I know Doom can't be good and I shouldn't be in it, but it was so big, I was like... How do I get out? And then, like, I was in, like, mid-cast and I should've just ran. Thank you, Founder. Foolish me. Get out, get out, get out. Ow. You jerk! Run, 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 run! Get out of that. Where'd it go? Shit.
There we go. Got it. Ooh. That's a lot of money. Hey, we leveled up. Nice. You didn't see that coming. Hell, that was a thing. That was a thing that happened. That must be the bridge. Scatter remains. So shall the waters cleanse thee of thy burden, and bear it out to sea. And now they are truly free. Joe? I hope so. What of the Imperials? A pyre was made. It's more than they deserve. We should go back. Cole yeah. is worried about Martha. All right. It's not far. Let's go. Could have used your help with that Iron Man, though. Quite annoying. Yep, we go. <laughs> Music's a little happier, at least. I'm glad Martha's safe, both for her sake and the town's. This place wouldn't be the same without her. Is she gonna be okay Boy, staying here, though? Sure. Hey. What? Like... They call themselves our countrymen. I don't know. My I demand recompense. You suck. Thanks we... for the call. If we... only we got here sooner. We'll do what we can to help the injured, though. Are we going to be okay just leaving Martha here? Because I feel like they're going to come back for her. Try not to move. You'll only make it worse. I know. I know. It's Martha who needs your attention, not me. We've been speaking with the Blood Exes about how best to protect the village. We won't let this happen again. All right, that that makes sense. Her work is very important. What was all the screaming and shouting, Mummy? Told you to go inside, children. This law are yours, I take you. Well, we're very grateful for their help. All right, time to go inside. Oh. We'll return to the hideaway as soon as we've finished our ministrations. Arthur's a stout soul, all right. Anyone else would be out cold after what she's been through. True. It will happen so fast. They were attacking everyone. Bastards. It's not fair, Sid. That shouldn't be the only choice. The only way to be free of all this. 
Arthur. No one survived then. I'm sorry. Before he passed, one of them bade me tell you not to blame yourself. Doesn't mean I won't. Doesn't mean their blood's not on my hands. They would have died Comes regardless, so their remains. at the very least. Of you, but it should have been me. This was all my fault. They would have, uh, their death would have been worse if they were she Good hadn't been involved. But I did, and I turned a deaf ear to the warnings like the fool I am. The rumors started moons ago, of black-clad devils descending on villages in the dead of night to slit the throats of sleeping bearers. But I assumed it was all just nonsense concocted by the Empire. Nothing but a ghost story meant to make folk think twice about lending a hand to a fugitive bearer. And in ordinary times, you would have been right. What these black shields are doing is unthinkable. Which begs the question, why do it at all? My mother obviously has a hand in this. I cannot make sense of her actions. And picking what goes on in that woman's head is a job for someone with more time on their hands. True. Right now, I need swords and men to wield them. Preferably big ones. If those Imperials think they can come in here again and threaten my people, they're in for a rude awakening. Oh, before I forget, a Stolas from Otto landed just before you arrived. Oh. He asked me to tell you that Gav has returned. Then we must as well. Will you be all right here, Martha? We can stay longer if you wish. No need. I'll be ready should the Imperials come calling. Though I wouldn't turn my nose up if you were to lend me a pair of them strapping young coast breakers. I'm sure we could spare a couple. Put them on rotation. That's fame. Is this like fame basically? Because that's cool. Where do I keep track of that? Those poor souls died to give me a chance to save others. I won't let their sacrifice be in vain. Still be nearby. Father, I'd rather not bump into them again. Try not to move. You only make it worse. Hello? Hey, you there! Uh, don't just pass me by! I'm standing here, ain't I? You handy with that sword of yours? Maybe. Of course you are. Bet you're a bloody marvel with the thing. Now, question is, are you willing to use it or not? Because a flock of noble chocobos are in need of help. Chocobos? You heard me right. Wild birds? Hmm? The big ones? Yeah, what do they need? And not just any chocobos at that. Whiteheart and her flock are the bravest birds you ever did see. They protect travelers round these parts from bandits and the like. Now I feel really chocobos. bad for killing the chocobos. Fighting bandits. It's true. Why, they saved me from a gang of footpads only yesterday. Nasty lot they were, too. And now, they're back, looking to settle the score. Oh, go on, then. D don't just stand there. Go and help them. All right, I'll, I'll go save the birds. <sighs> All right. There's a good lad. Where can I find these chocobos? I saw them cut across the way over yonder. The rotten scoundrels were driving the poor things towards the old dock. It's a dead end, that is. You save Whiteheart and her flock, you hear me? There ain't the pluckier bird in all the world. She's a hero to us locals. And don't worry, you'll know her when you see her right enough. I'm sure I will. And good luck to you. And give those no good bastards a hiding from me. All right, sure. The white winged wonder. Why 
sweetheart. That's quite a name for a chocobo. True. I'm not gonna not grab the free loot. Oh. Oh dear. A white feather. I thought Ambrosia was one of a kind. Speaking of brave birds. Whiteheart. Like that way. Is Whiteheart Ambrosia? Maybe. The sentient of Ambrosia or a relative of, of Ambrosia. White chug of opinion, a pristine plume possibly plucked from the plump posterior of a bandit bucking bow known to the provincials as Whiteheart. Oh no, I've got a bird to save. These chocobos aren't going down without a fight. Oh, some dead bodies. Chocobo tracks and some dead ass bandits. Oh no. We got you cornered, feathers. You didn't think you'd seen the last of us, did you? You've been bad for business. But I reckon someone will pay good coin to mount your head on their wall. Not around here, they won't. Oh. And why's that, eh? Because she's something of a hero in these parts. You hurt her, and I hurt you. Piss off! Or better still, how about we hurt you both? Do you want to do that? Right, then. But don't say I didn't warn you. Done this in a while, we might as well. Ooh. <sighs> 
Easy peasy. Damn, so close to the 2300. Hello! Whiteheart? Possibly Ambrosia? You're safe now. Whiteheart, I presume. No, it's Ambrosia. Do you know her, boy? <laughs> that scar... It couldn't be. My bird! Ambrosia... Hug her! She's you! Survived. Please hug the bird. I'll take that. Pet the bird. Bird's good too. Are those yours? Boy, he he isn't over. I thought I'd come and see how you were getting on. Oh, are you sort of the bastards then? I knew you would. <laughs> And the whole flock made it through unscathed. Thankfully, they did. And not only that. I know this bird. I'm gonna tell her her real name. Tell him her real name. Well, I'll be. I never stopped to think our hero here might once have been someone's mount. <laughs> Though I dare say she'd suit a fine fellow like yourself. Reckon our feathered friend must have learned a thing or two from her master. Kind-hearted warrior that you are. Thank you. Bird like her would have cost a princely sum. You born a lord or something? Don't worry about well, it. I, uh, oh no, sorry, sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to pry. Don't matter who you are. You done right by me. Thank you. What is it, girl? She wants her master back, I reckon. But you got a flock to take care of. Told you. And it seems her pals agree. Is that it? You want to come with me? Oh. Well, bugger me if this ain't a heartwarming sight. The lads down the stables will be hearing about this tonight. Oh, stay right where you are. Gonna saddle her up? Get me a chocobo whistle? I can call her and then not be running around like a darn idiot? Ah, <gasps> beauty. Why is it? It just has, she just has a sword. She has a sword. <gasps> you got her an eye patch! Oh, She's a badass now, certified. Doesn't she cut an handsome figure, eh? She does indeed. How much do I owe you? Ah, a few scraps of leather's the very least I owe, old Whiteheart. Oh, I'll be sad to see her go, of course. But she's earned her right to happiness and more besides. Don't you worry. We'll get along just fine without her. Well, her flock will hopefully still be around Where to protect you. Heart? You've earned yourself some time off. Oh, they got settled too. You have fun traveling with your master now. Hmm. You seem awful familiar. Don't worry about it. Get a proper look at you. No, no reason, That's no reason. It. When those chocobos swarmed my car on the road, didn't you... Uh, no. No, that can't be right. That fellow was a bearer. Must have been my double. Yeah. Oh, must have been, eh? <laughs> oh, that'll be the excitement getting to me. Silly sod that I am. Pay me no mind. <laughs> Anyhow, best be on my way. Good luck to the both of you. It's that old merchant who was kind of a shithead before, but now he's all right. It's good. You take care of your flock for now. 
I'll call you when I need you. I like how the other two got saddled, so presumably our friends who come with us can also have chocobos to run around on and not get left behind. Ambrosia's tack. A spoke saddle and blinders worn by Clive's childhood chocobo, Ambrosia. Whee! Splayed in Clive's chambers? Oh, that's very cool. Chocobo unlocked! Exciting. Alright, after 18 long years, Clive has finally been reunited with his faithful steed. Hold R3 while in the field to summon Ambrosia and, and X to mount the chocobo. <gasps> Ambrosia! Yay! When you ride alone. Oh, that's so cool. Alright, let's go. Gallop? Run like the wind. Where am I going? Not that way. <gasps> oh, that treasure. Well, it's going to take a long time to get to. That's in the other direction. All right, where am I going? Oh, I shouldn't even be here anymore. I'm kind of done. But I want to run around on my bird! Here's the lads up at the stable. But no lads. Can I ride the bird into town? Will they let me do that? That'll do, girl. Thank you! The answer is no, they cannot ride into town. fun. All right. Uh, the world map. Okay, back to the hideaway. Hold up. I got some... I got some pitch for someone. Going down! Well, did you find me some wax? I did, in fact. Find is one way of putting it. Here you go. Hopefully this will last you a while. Ugh. Reeks like a chocobo's ass. Well, I don't suppose the Argo will mind as long as he stays above the waves. Argo? So your boat has a name? Nice. I didn't know. Yeah. Same as me old man. He was a ferryman himself back before the blight came. The boat's all I have left of him. And thanks to you, we'll sail another day. Do you need some help hauling your vessel out? Because I hear that's not the easiest thing to do. Alright, well. Badge of Might, plus one. Depending on who you ask, this lake was either formed when one of the fallen cities plummeted from the sky, or when a giant worm dug a lair for itself. My guild is on the latter. I'm gonna go with the former fallen city falling out of the sky. Will we ever find out? I don't know. We don't know what the deal with the fallen is and who they are, what they were doing, what they're up to. Going up! There is, in fact, new lore. Let's do that first. That as as 
That's not a very polite oh, thing to say. Right. Yep. Others weren't so lucky though. Vivian? Ah, my favorite pupil. What is it that you wish to learn? I have the details here. Grand cast. Um I'm in the present day, right? Paul, Aaron, Arthur. Here we go. Old and sin, second string to her business. She strives to keep secrets from. Okay, all right. One must understand one's place in the world. Situation map. All right. Bear culling. So a bear. They're going around culling bears out of Rosalith. Oh. They did say that she is the vicery now. That means presumably that she is here. So if we go home, can we kick the shit out of her? We do our matricide thing. The state of the realm is ever changing, Clive. Noted, thank you. I hear there's trouble in Rosaria. Or we'll be good to the kids. Sis. Bird by any other name. Give my insistence on writing you these silly letters. Would that we had more time to speak to each other in person. For every day we spend together, it feels as though we must suffer another two apart. I'm gladdened to hear of your most unexpected reunion with Ambrosia. Should I say Whiteheart? You told me once how your chocobo sacrificed herself to protect you that night at Phoenix Gate. Here, so many years later, we find she has spent her life doing that exact th same thing. Defending others. Some things never change, do they, Clive? Yay, there it is! Roja's tech. A saddle and blinders crafted specially for Clive's childhood chocobo. Even after- uh, chocobo ambrosia. Even after being separated from her master, the noble steed served the people of Rosaria in his stead, protecting the defenseless from the merciless, just as a good shield should. She is best bird. Hands down. Alright, anything else new that I need to be looking at? Nothing right now. Okay. gonna get back on her feet she'll need our help whether she wants it or not oh she does she asked for a couple curse breakers not to worry gav hello ah, Clive. lost an eye too that scowl. where's my report what no kind words be ruled pal gav <laughs> if it's kind words you're after you're fishing in the wrong barrel now sit down, you fool. So, you remember how quick the Empire was to occupy the Dominion after the fall of Drake's head? And how pissed off all the other nations were that they didn't think to do it first? Yes. Half a century of independence gone at the whim of a madman. So much for their bloody treaty. Clearly, the promise of unblighted land and the world's supply of crystals was too much for his radiance to resist. <laughs> and now the Republic's finally decided to follow suit, using liberation as an excuse to declare war on Sambrek. Not, up right outside not surprised. Outside the Dominion's gates as we speak, looking to starve the Imperials into submission. Okay. And now all eyes are on the Strait of Ortha. While the two nations beat their shields, the rest sharpen their daggers. 
Ready to set upon the war weary victor. They'll never see us coming. It's time we moved on the Mother Crystals. Time to work on Sid's plan. Which Mother Crystal are we going after first? Which matricide are we committing? Four Mother Crystals remain in Storm and Ash. Drake's Breath, near Ironhome. Drake's Fang, in Dalmechia. Drake's Spine, in Walud. And Drake's Tail, here in the Crystalline Dominion. With the bulk of the Republican army marching to Twinside, Drake's Fang will be left exposed. That is exactly the move Kupka would anticipate. And if there is anything these past five years have taught us, is that he loves his traps. Hey, what's there the plan? No place, however, where nobody will be expecting us to go. Twinside. Drake's breath. There's a shitload of sea between us and it, and I've never been much of a swimmer. The Ironbloods. An acquaintance in Port is older who may be able to help. Who's that then? My uncle, Byron Rossfield. Oh. Lord Byron Rossfield at the Seven High Houses, the trade magnet with holdings in over a hundred cities. Wait, Rossfield. And you're a Rosfield, of course. Yes. Gav, a little slow on the uptake there. Gave a start in the world, but it was his acumen which earned him his fortune. Along with a handsome fleet of ships. Well, it's settled then. Strike at the iron. Are we gonna lose Jill? That's where she was held captive for so long. Are you okay? Gonna be okay? I know this, sh this shit gets dark, so I'm like a little concerned. I need friends. That looks like a hunt board. Auto's counter is now open. Lovely. New facilities! The following hideaway facilities are now available. Aligned reports, the patron's whisper, and the hunt board. Yup. All three are located near Otto in the mess. Oh, uh, alrighty, alrighty then. What are we waiting for? A indeed? new quest nearby. Is it? Way back there. Okay. All right, let's go do that. Well, then we're gonna go pick it up. to speak to you yeah what's up is everything all right what can i do for you well, yeah it's just well as you know we've been trying to grow fruit down here mm -hmm. it's good to know that something of the old hideaway still lives on martel's pride and joy it was a sapling when she rescued it from the rubble but look at it now all our hard work's finally paying off i took it on you see after she well after she died and now the fruit's finally ready to eat oh and not only is it ready, it's actually tasty. Sweet as you like, in fact. She bred the bitter right out of it. Impressive. And welcome news to more than a few, I'd say. I thought this first harvest could go to the Curse Breakers, on account of all they do for the hideaway. Yeah, love it. You couldn't take them some, could you? Seems better them coming from you. Yeah, sure. Let's do it. Why not? I'm sure they'll be pleased. Let's do it. Be nice being the bearer of good news for a change. Thank you. She always had a soft spot for that lot, see? Hey, Dodger Linkling. Thanks for the mummers. Everyone else gets some. Here you go. Martell apples, they're called. In honor of her memory. Aw. You hear that, Martell? Today's finally the day. 
How's Momo doing out there? The fruits of her labors. Martel would have wanted the curse breakers to be the first to try our apples. I'm sorry to put you to the trouble, Sid. But thanks. No trouble at all. Not to worry. on earth am I going? I think I'm lost. I'm going the wrong way. Fact. Get to autos. Well, if I keep going this way, I'll be able to go around. And you say Sid built this place? Well, one can't really build what's been lying around for several thousand years. But it was his idea we claim it for our own. Hi, Sid here. Hello! for Otto but then I saw the light and his name is cold she's just thirsty he looks at you like a frightened fawn who's lost his mother oh if only I could shoot an arrow through his heart look someone here's got to be the thirsty one <sighs> they say removing a brand is almost as painful as getting one But we'd still rather not have you have the, the brand, right? Like, that's still better. Can I go say hello to Tarya now? Hi! Once the Dalmecs have laid siege to the Dominion, very little will be leaving Twinside, including the many medicines to still there. Oh no. I'm sorry, that is a very real concern. Treatment diary. Today Clive visited the infirmary to have me dress a laceration on his left forearm. I cleaned and stitched the wound and instructed him to rest the arm so that it could heal. But not an hour later he was leaving on another mission. This must be the hundredth time he's disobeyed my instructions. Next time he comes to me for treatment, I'm tying him to the bed. I don't think we were supposed to read that. That seems like private private info. Sorry, my bad. Anyway, hello. I've got some stuff for you, Fabian. You two look like you could use something to eat. Here. Courtesy of Martel. Martel apples. A basket of Martel apples grown and picked by Cormac for a sample by hideaway residents. Martel. Now, where have I heard that name before? Weren't she the girl from the furrows? Course cool she was. <laughs> An odd sort, that one. Loved plants more than people. <laughs> I am brave as a bane might. Remember when she ran back into the so those bane to mites. Them trees when Titan attacked? Wait. These aren't those apples, are they? Well, I'll be. She'd have been proud, and rightly so. Thank you, Sid. So nice. Them old apples were enough to curdle your gut. But these beauties are as sweet as you like. I'll have to pay the boys down in the backyard a visit to tell them thanks. Nice. A gift from the backyard for your service. There you go. Blimey, these take me back. I haven't seen a hardaway apple since. 
Old Sid was the only one who could stomach the things. <laughs> <laughs> He'd nab them right from the branch, made Martell livid. Not that anyone could stay mad at the man for long. That sounds like the Sid I knew, all right. Planning on keeping that lot to yourselves, were you? Examato. These aren't Martells, are they? Yeah, they are. I'm glad to see someone carried on what she started. Can't have been easy, not in the Deadlands. Reckon she'd be happy knowing all her hard work didn't go to waste. Clive, tell the lad down in the backyard to run some over for me, will ya? <sighs> not so much as a thank you. Well, I've got some manners at least. Thanks, Sid. You can leave the basket with me. I'll see that the others get their share. Oh, and uh, give our compliments to the gardener, won't you? Of course. That was the last of the apples. I should head to the backyard and pass along everyone's regards. Can't remember the last time I had fresh fruit. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. It doesn't sound like anywhere is safe. Not that I'm planning a journey. Goat, hello. Are you Hi. open for business again? How have you been? Oh, same old. Isn't it? Otto's got me reading through the reports coming in from our allies and picking out what problems need dealing with now and what can be saved for later. It was still early days back in the old place, so I could just about handle the job myself. State of the world now, though, I need D's help to sift through it all. And that's just the sifting. Actually solving any of the problems is a whole other headache. The Cursebreakers take the art and stuff, but we're still stuck waiting for volunteers to handle the rest. Oh, uh... If you ever find yourself at a loose end, well, you'll know where to find me. How you been these past five years? <sighs> so much has happened since that night. It was like a lifetime ago. But we'll never forget those who didn't make it. Kenneth, Martell, you're still with us in our hearts. And Sid. I found out he was gone. I thought that was it for us. But he's still with us too. With us and in you. Took his name, and you gave us hope when we had none. So, I suppose what I'm trying to say is, don't be a stranger, eh? A hideaway ain't nothing without its Sid. What do we got? Go. We did them all! Always something in there. Bez, how's it going? Oh, Clive! Welcome Dee, to brother. the Patron's Whisper! The Patron's Whisper? Does that mean... Someone else is taking care of our friend's donations? Oh no, that's still me. It's just Karen has her toll, Blackthorn has his hammer. I thought a new name might liven things up. I still catalog every item that arrives, in addition to setting aside those tokens of appreciation the sender has specified are to be presented to you personally. Would you like to see if we have any? Yes. Is Tell me about yourself. Easy? On top of my regular duties here at the Whisper, Otto has piled countless other tasks from transcribing and sorting Stolas reports to pending needful missives. Not that I'm complaining, mine. I enjoy writing. I have ever, I have ever since I learned my letters from jo Yara back in the old hideaway. I won't claim. Oh, she was the one who was learning how to uh, learning in their, her letters upstairs. I think. I won't claim to have been his best student, though. The honor go that honor goes to Shirley. Still. I like to think Yara would be proud of me too. Were he with us today? He's been these past five years. Words are immortal. They live on in others, and if the words are your own, so too will you. Do you know who told me that? It was Yara, in our last session before Titan came. It stayed with me ever since his passing and inspired me to become what I am today. <sighs> I imagine we survivors all have a story like that. As someone who remains with us, even though they're gone. Alright, tell me about the Patron's Whisper. Putting side quests will earn Clive renown, inspiring nameless benefactors from across the twins to donate to money or items to Clive's cause. Yo! Visit Des Desiree at the Patron's Whisper in the Hideaway's Mess to view current renown levels and accept any donations available. Beautiful. Talk of the Tea House. Your merry band of outlaws and its dashing deeds of daring do are all the talk amongst the ladies of the court. We have gathered together several items of worth that you might continue your gallantry. Ability point? That's a lot of ability. I'll take it. Here you are. 
Thank you. Respect our order is one built on pride, but that does not mean we are too good to give thanks where thanks is due. We have may have failed Martha once, but never again. Peter, I thank you. you earn this. Expand renown to unlock. Okay. I need more renown rating. Come okay. Again. I may have more for ya. Okay, but now that I have enough ability points. Okay, stop. Stop it! Give me a control! <gasps> oh boy! Summon from the heavens a mighty eleven bolt that deals massive damage to a single target. Beautiful. Judgment bolt! Fine, justice. I don't really... ...like using blind justice. Well, actually, what's this do? Making it better. Mastering it. Oh, it's to affix balls of lightning to them. Okay. Oh, I guess that's not so bad. Make it better. Cool. Alright. Um, I suppose... Leveling up charged magic may be the good thing to do next, because we have that item. Nope, oh, I don't remember what I was going to look for. Okay. Nectar, hello. Hi, there you are, Kupo. I've been looking all over for you. What's the matter, Nectar? Matter is this, Kupo? The hunt board. It's where the curse breakers post sightings of particularly fearsome beasts. Those that might pose a threat to our operations if they were left to roam free. Just because they can't be dealt with when they're spotted, doesn't mean they can't be dealt with later. Was that what you wanted to know? Of course not, Kupo. I knew all that already. And that's why I need your help. As I need not remind you, Kupo, I am the mightiest of all Moogles. No fiend of the forest or ghoul of the green sword. Should have freaking paused it. Should have paused it. That's all I need you to save them all, Kupo. Right. Well, leaving your mightiness aside for the moment. The people of Valisthea are going through a lot already. But with the blight and the war, the last thing they need is ungodly fiends terrorizing them on top of everything else. So if the curse breakers are too busy to help, then perhaps I can. Or at least I can try. Squeenix, can I please have more time to read the frickin' Moogle speak? Oh, thank you, Kupo. It's so good to have found someone who understands me, Kupo. I mean, like, that went by really quick. Like, even if I wasn't trying to read it out loud, I'm pretty sure... I don't know if I would have finished that. And I'm a fast reader. I'll stay here, then, and keep an eye on all the bill... It's really dumb that I have to pause to try to read it all. Or, like, don't auto-progress it. I'll stay here then and keep an eye on all the billets that get posted on the board. So if there's anything you need to know, Kupo, I'm your Moogle. Like, that's pretty annoying, honestly. Small complaints, but annoying. Finally, about hunts. The curse breakers don't just tack up any old rumors to this board, you know. They, have great, they take great pains to verify every little detail, Kupo. So don't you go letting all their hard work go to waste, Kupo. Don't you let me, I mean them, down! Ask about the hunt board. It's precisely what you see before you, Kupo. Cursebreakers note down the details of any particularly dangerous monsters they hear about or encounter in the course of their duties, Kupo. And post the billets here, Kupo! So that any stout soul who wishes to do the realm of service might set out to slaughter an ungodly horror or two. Which is where you come in, Kupo. As for me, I have the most important duty of all. Painting a big red cross over each and every one you cut down, Kupo. So that everyone can sleep at night knowing that the realm is a safer place. Tell me about your adventures. Can I ever tell you about the time I visited the Great Continent, Kupo? I don't think so. Of course I didn't, because I've never been, Kupo! Hey! Look at these wings! Do they so Do it? I was about to say, like, is that one letting me progress by X? No, it wasn't. It just started auto-playing. That was plenty of time for the last one, but I'm pausing for this one because I anticipate it's gonna... 
or too early. Look at these wings! Do they look like the sort that might carry a Moogle across countless leagues of open sea? They call me Nectar the Bold, not Nectar the Stupid, Kubo! Uh, did you see that the Curse Breakers give every villain a rank of riskiness, Kubo? Trim, this thing could kill you with a single swipe to a Seven Nation Army couldn't scratch this thing's skin. But I'm sure you'll be fine, Kupo. Well, not sure, but that's one risk I'm willing to take. Oh, but yeah, but you can see it. Every, suddenly I missed what the first thing you said. I wasn't paying attention. But you can't be expected to memorize every last place name in the whole wide realm. You're only human, Kupo. So if the pl na place name doesn't tingle your pom pom, Kupo, try reading the witnesses' statement. Sometimes there are other details in them that might help you track the nasties down and finish them off. There we go. Now, that was a lot of info. Ports of fiends terrorizing the countryside are posted on the hunt board in hopes that the fearless heroes, such as Clive, will take it upon themselves to hunt down and slay the notorious Marks. We killed an Ironman. Member of the Blood Axes stationed at Martha's Rest reported that he had been set upon in the marshes by another worldly whore with a single staring eye. It flew at him on the bony bat's wings, scratching at him with claws black as night and sharp as razors. Naturally, he fled in terror. But if a battle-hardened blood axe cannot cope with the mere sight of such a creature, what hope do the rest of us have? Oh, I collected that reward already. The Angel of Death, a traitor coming by the way of Cairn Orvent, met with a troop of curse-breakers traveling in the opposite direction and warned them of a wicked ha winged harpy on the road ahead. His eyes wild and flickering. Though the curse breaker saw nothing untoward on their own journey through the pass, the sound of cackling laughter from the trees ensured that they kept up a brisk pace. Sandbreck, Clairview. Okay. Tarada or Sparna, maybe? Belphegor. Reports have been received of a wild avis of striking size making its nest atop the hill adjacent to Eastpool. Though all efforts are being made not to rouse the beast's ire, it is surely but a matter of time before it needs to feed. I hereby petition any brave volunteers to march to the northern border, that we might cut the fiend down before it makes its tre trenches on the nearby villages. Alright, so we probably want to go after the one in Clairview first. Here for another of my lectures. Sort of. I help you today? I'm here really you just are. here to clear up the map. We're gonna go here. Thus ends today's lesson. Sure, sure it does. Um, let's go up this way. Where am I going? That way? And you say Sid built this place. That's me, I'm Sid. I ain't build shit though. I just made a suggestion, apparently, to repurpose the usage of these ruins, which is, quite frankly, not a bad idea at all. send their thanks and their compliments they were clearly very fond of martel they remembered her a after all these years yeah i suppose she was very kind even to a tongue-tied lummox like me you were one of the good ones martel why did you have to die she put everything into her work she wasn't gonna rest until we had fruit sweet enough to enjoy and now we do. When she died, I named a sapling after her. And now it's a full-grown tree. Martel lives on through the fruit it bears. And through you. Her dream would have died with her, had you not kept it alive. That's something to be proud of. 
I, oh, I didn't do anything really, but thank you. You're kinder to me than I deserve. No, no, By you did way, put in all the hard work and it, you deserve Otto's it. Otto's expecting some of your crop. And I wouldn't mind some of it either, if that's not too much to ask. Of course not. Now, I'll see that you're both well provided for. Is it going to go in my room? Because that'd be sweet. They like your fruit, Martel. Isn't that wonderful? I'd say it's about time we planted you some siblings, don't you think? Yay! I really like that quest. Martel's apples, a curiosity. Basket of slightly stunted, somewhat sweet apples grown from the blighted earth thanks to the dedication and perseverance of one woman, Martel. She rest in peace. Still, we'll grow something worth eating one of these days, and when we do, you'll have first pick. It is going in our chambers. I love it. Oh, that makes me so happy. Just look at her. Isn't Martel in fine fettle? What about young Bobby Miller? He's got some work to do if he wants to catch up with his brother Kenneth. <laughs> I love that we named the plants after our poor beloved fallen. That's very sweet. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna run back to the hunt board. And then we're going to save, and that is where we're going to call it for the evening, because it is getting on a bit late. Um, but, ideally, ideally, maybe, hopefully, we will... play tomorrow, maybe before the raid? Maybe? Possibly? It's possible. Depends how long it takes me to do all my chores. I didn't do all of my chores today, so we got to do some tomorrow, but... If I can fit in some 16 time tomorrow before raid, I'm gonna do it. I also need to do some jumping puzzle time too, so... Anyway, but we'll save here so remember that this is what the plan is. We're going to eat up some hunt monsters. Some notorious monsters when we get back. Alright. So this is where we will call it for the evening. Let me go over to Twitch. What are you waving at me for? We're, oh, because we're leaving. Okay, got it, got it, got it. All right, let's go over to the twitch.tvs and see what's going on. I think we'll just call it here. Okay, all right. So, gone. OBS, don't mess this up. All right, there you go, I found it. Hey! Thanks all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. If you guys enjoyed the game with the lovely Final Fantasy 16 as always and um, Ace Journey Saturdays. So it was a nice long stream today with a couple games, um, but it was fun. I hope you guys had fun too. Uh, next stream is tomorrow. We should be raiding theoretically. I don't know if it's going to be at 7 or 8. That's kind of TBD. Um, we'll see what happens. But before then, we'll do, like, some jumping puzzle, and maybe we'll squeeze in some 16 time. Yeah. Anyway, thanks all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks to 21 Snakes for coming by during Ace Attorney. Thanks to Neonecco for the raid. And uh, thanks to Darjeeling Kling for stopping by as well. Appreciate all of you. Thanks to all the lurkers, chatters, future VOD watchers. Appreciate all of you as well. Uh, both here on Twitch and then also on YouTube later. Thank you so much. Now, have a great night, have a great rest of your weekend, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye!